Welcome back to the channel. Not only have we found a beautiful view like this and wonderful weather like this, we've found an amazing pub like this. Let me just take you uh, 20 yards down the road to the entrance to our new campsite for the next two or three days. It's a little bit special, a little bit unique and uh, it's one of the independent sites from Tranquil Parks. I'm just inside the entrance to the park here now, and uh, where are we? Well, we're in Shropshire. We're deep in the countryside of Shropshire, about six miles north of Ludlow. And uh, no, we haven't even come into Wales with a view like this. It's beautiful. It's tranquil, it's one of the tranquil parks, and uh, although it's a busy road running alongside, we do have peace and tranquility on this site. The site is built on tiers, so everyone has a view. I'm going to walk around and show you just how beautifully kept the site really is. So this is the entrance uh, to the park, and uh, there's a little reception office there that's not manned all the time, but there are instructions there so that if you do arrive late, you can um, park yourself on a, on a nominated pitch. Um, failing that, you can park here overnight and wait for the following morning if, uh, if it's dark and you prefer to. The park has a security system so that uh, you need a code to get in but not out of the site. And just inside the gates there's the first of the uh, facilities blocks and they're uh, all to a very high standard. The following uh, restrictions from the COVID pandemic at the moment so the, the limited numbers are allowed in at one time. Almost looking into the sun here, but there's a number of viewpoints around the site so that you can sit and enjoy the lovely panoramic views that we have from here. To the more practical side of things, there's a motorhome service point here where you can reverse in and uh, refresh all your tanks. And there's an Elson emptying point in the hut just to the left. There's fresh water available here with a hose and uh, there's all around the site there's these little uh, painted pieces of memorabilia. Clearly uh, a farming background and uh, really adds to the uh, atmosphere of this place. As you can see the site really is beautifully kept.
walking along this little gravel path that takes you to the dog exercise area. And there are three paddocks that you can use and uh, they do ask it uh, for socially distanced and purposes that one family at a time in each of the paddocks. They extend right to the trees along the line on the edge of the site there right at the back. So as you can see they're doggy friendly. It's one of the nicest dog walking areas I've seen for some time. Um, particularly as whilst you're walking your dog you can enjoy those fabulous views. Here's a little uh, video I took uh, about 20 minutes ago from the top of the hill up there near the bench. And here's another of the uh, facilities blocks. A smaller one down this end of the park. But uh, again, to a very high standard. Now, all the access roads around the park are tarmac, and there's one or two uh, little gravel areas on the edge so that you can pass. And there are quite a lot of seasonal pitches. Um, they're really nice, large pitches, and they've got dedicated parking. So if you're a local and you want to park your tourer on a seasonal pitch, I think this is the place to come. Right, what are we up to now then, Sue? We're going to go for a meal in a pub. Three horseshoes? Yep. Right next door to the site. <laughs> and we're running a little bit late, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to get a move on. <laughs> get a move on. Right, again. Beautiful. What do you reckon of that then, Sue? We had a lovely evening. Didn't we? My goodness. I had the vegetarian tart. Yes. With salad and chips. And I had the uh, slow roasted pork with mash. Very crunchy, weren't it? A very, oh, the crackling, the crackling was just brilliant. And we couldn't take video in there because they're playing music, so we would um, have been a copyright. But um, there's a few stills that you probably saw. Still got a fabulous view from the window. Oh yeah, and the sun is now setting us. Um, it's going to be a lovely sunset, and we're going to walk back to the van and take the dogs for their little evening walk. So, uh, see you in a minute. 